there is this connected digital ecosystem and data flow, which again, some of you may be familiar with, some of you not. I mean, we, we call that workspace. That's the space where all data get synchronized to in real time. So essentially what you have is an app in the field that is always up to date and the data from the field gets synchronized to workspace in I mean, within seconds, uh, as long as you have an internet connection, right? So then those data become available for the client, avail available for other colleagues in the company in whatever uh, desired uh, output format directly from that platform. There is additionally one step that is also incorporated into this platform that is the advanced data analysis. So you may have heard of this. I mean, a few months ago, we completed the acquisition of a company called GPR Lies that was very advanced uh, software for GPR processing, mostly in an academic environment. And what we are doing is gradually translating this into a more user-friendly um, user interface that sits on inside workspace. That means my data from the field, which get in real time synchronized to workspace, at this point, this step, they can be processed with GPR insights, perform the advanced data analysis that is needed, that those data get updated with much more information or much more detailed advanced information and still the same output supply to be provided to your client. So that's an intermediate step that is not needed in 100% of cases, definitely, but there will be certain types of jobs. I mean, I mean, I saw in the beginning that some of you reported that you work in archaeology, for example. I mean, archaeology is a field where this is used, and then that would be easily integrated as an intermediate step. If we go back to the case of utilities, right? This uh, example I provided before, right? So I can perform my field scans. I can even make my mapping uh, in the field, but actually my goal may be not that. My goal may be, okay, we want to have an assessment. We want to know how good our existing our current uh, as builds are, right? So those as builds are in a particular coordinate system. So all I need to do is I load my field data into GPR Insights and I load my existing as builds also in the right coordinate system into GPR Insights. And here I can just have, I mean, just in, in this image, you can see this is a direct one to one comparison of existing as builds versus the reality scanned in real time with the GS8000. And with this, you can have a very good understanding, okay, is this matching or not? Are my as builds good enough or do they need to be updated? You know, loading, I mean, this information gets in real time, uh, loaded into GPR Insights, my field data, then I would just here import you know, my CAD files in the right coordinate system. That's kind of a, an additional layer of information that gets loaded. You can see it's very fast because it's running on a very fast server in the cloud. All of this can be loaded, checked. I can also load my imagery, my satellite, and get a full overview of everything just in the same platform, the same ecosystem. Right, so this is really, really powerful functionality that we are also enabling. Some of you maybe again have heard of our Inspect platform, and we are equipping this with more functionalities. And among them, one that is very interesting for this space is the 3D scanning. Right, so just with your iPad, with your iPad, all of this information can be scanned can be meshed. You can see it's a very simple process that anybody can just complete within a few seconds. And in the end, this translates as, okay, complete my scan. 
little bit of processing. And what I get is a one-to-one -one copy of the underground reality, where, I mean, data are correctly dimensioned. <clears throat> so you can see it. Uh, you know, those values really can be measured directly on the image. And this, this belongs to a specific location. So, so to say, should there be any kind of needs to document, to document what has actually been uh, done, that information can also be living in the same exact ecosystem in the same platform, right? So we are really completing all the different uh, sub, you know, sub sections of the workflow that happen at different points in the lifetime of, uh, of an underground project. And, and really putting all these pieces of the Lego together in one connected ecosystem, right? So just to say what we are doing is enabling and getting one step closer to the dream of the industry, which is having a digital twin of the subsurface. 